Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we are working on Module 13, Lesson 18, and we are working with just the standard algorithm of division to find out what our quotients and remainders are. I'm going to do two problems, a sort of medium difficulty problem from the first page of homework and a medium difficulty problem from the second page of homework. And obviously the second page of the homework is more difficult than the first, as it always is. So let's take a look at problem number four. Problem number four asks us, to take 80 and divide it by 5. So we're going to set up our problem the way we normally would, which is we're going to say 80 divided by 5. Right? So let's see. The first thing we need to find out is how many times can we pull 5 out of 8 tens? Let's see. We could skip count until we get too high, right? So we could pull out 5, 10. Oh. Nope, we can't pull out 10. So it looks like we can only pull out one set of 5s. One set of 5s. So if we divided 80 by 5 and we divided the 8 10s by 5, we would have 1 times 5. We would have used up only 3. I and mean, we would use up 5 of our 8 10s. We would only have 3 10s left. So we would need to convert those to 1s and bring in our other 1s. In this case, we don't have any other 1s. So we would have 31s. How many times can we divide 31s by 5? Well, let's, we could skip count again. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I count six times. We could divide 30 by 5 and get 6. 6 times 5 is 30. And now we've used up all 30 of our 1s. 30 minus 30 is 0. So we have no remainder. Remainder of 0, just in case you think that's a O. Oh, Put a slash through it. So we we think that 80 divided by 5 is 16 with no remainder, but we can check our work. So we can do the inverse operation of division, which is multiplication. We can multiply 16 times 5 to see if we get 80. Let's see, 5 times 6 is 30, so that's 30 with 0 in the 1s and 3 tens that we'll bring over. And then 5 times 1 ten is 5 tens, plus 3 more is 8 tens. And sure enough, checks out. We do the inverse operation. We find that our quotient 16 times 5 is going to be our original 80. And so we've solved that problem to our satisfaction. Excellent. Well, let's move on to another problem. Let's go to problem number 10. Problem number 10 reads 87 divided by 6. I'm going to switch to red here. 87 divided by 6. Let's set that up the normal way. 87 divided by 6. So again, we start with 8 tens, just like in the last problem. This time we're dividing by 6. And I think we can only fit one of those 6s in there, right? 1, 6. 1 times 6 tens is 6 tens. That means we've only been able to use up 6 of our 8 tens, so we've got 2 tens left. 2 tens becomes 20 ones. And we bring out our other ones, which are 7. Now we have 27 ones that we're trying to divide into 6, uh, six groups. So let's see. Let's skip count by sixes. So we get 6, 12, 18, 24. But that's as high as we go because the next six would give us to 30. So it looks like we can only fit four in each of those groups. Four times six is 24. And we've been able to use up 24 ones of the 27 ones. And so it looks like we have three left over. We definitely can't divide 3 1 6 ways, so it looks like it's going to be 14 with a remainder of 3. A quotient of 14 and a remainder of 3. We can always check our work by doing the inverse operation. So let's multiply 14 by 6. 14 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. That's 2 tens that we'll bring over. And then 6 times 1 10 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. 84, oh right, but we have that remainder, so we'd have to write 84 plus that 3 remainder, and that would be 7 and 8, 87, sure enough, 87, just like we started off with. So we can check our division with multiplication and a little addition of the remainder, and we get to the same answer that we started with, 87. So this looks like a pretty successful application of the standard division algorithm to these problems, and it looks like we did one where we had a remainder, problem number 10, problem number four, which didn't have a remainder. So thanks for joining us with this episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Good luck with your homework. Take care.